everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So it's been a wee while since we last went on a hotel break. A lot's happened. We've moved into a house. We got engaged. So we've decided this weekend to finally go somewhere. And we've decided to go to the Bankery Lodge Hotel in Deeside, which is quite close to Aberdeen. I think it's only about 20 miles from Aberdeen. So we're looking forward to it as we've not been away in what feels like forever. So we've got a lot of good deals on at the hotel, which I'm going to link down below. You can stay for $59.50, which includes dinner, bed and breakfast. Or if you want to go for two nights, because it is quite far away, we've got a really good flexi dine offer on, which includes two nights, bed and breakfast, dinner on one night. And that's £89 per person, which is really good for this hotel because it is more of a kind of high end four star kind of country house hotel. So we're just about to leave from, we now stay in Cross Ford, which is just kind of between Glasgow and Edinburgh. And it'll take us about just under three hours. So we will see you there. checked into room 18 which I believe is an upgraded room. There are around 28 bedrooms at the hotel which have all been recently refurbished so it has that kind of cosy feel to it. The first thing we notice as we walk into the room is the stunning riverside views we have from the three bay windows and these lovely welcome treats left by Jade at the hotel including some chocolates, fudge, homemade shortbread, a wee welcome note and an information pack which have all the details about the hotel facilities and look at that stunning view even on a miserable day. As we turn round from the view you can really see how large the room is. It's one of the biggest rooms I have stayed in before and especially love the large mirror and the king size bed which is always a plus for when you are staying away. It really has that rustic feel about it, especially with this feature wall to my right here, which I'm really keen on. Over here we have our tea and coffee facilities. We've got plenty of different types of tea, plenty of coffee sashes, as well as caramel wafers, which is just a nice kind of Scottish twist. And 
and we've got the kettle and the coffee as well and um, we over here we have some gin liqueurs which was left from the hotel including an orange liqueur which i'll definitely be trying later and we've got some magazines as well as information about the Bankery app which you can use to view the hotel menu as well as other information about what to do in the area and some sparkling water. As you go over here to the bathroom you'll notice the walk-in shower which doesn't have a step. Plenty of room in there and we've got this large bath which I can't wait to get into. And what I really love about the bathroom is the lighting. It's really good for when you're getting ready and this mirror also lights up. And we also have some luxury toiletries including shampoo, body lotion, soap from the Highland Company, lemongrass and ginger which smell amazing by the way. And overall it's probably one of the nicest rooms we have stayed in. It is large and the view is stunning. So we have just been relaxing in the room after her long three hour drive. We eventually got to the hotel just after three o'clock, which was check-in time. And the lovely Lauren checked us in and she was really friendly, really efficient, told us everything about the hotel. And what I thought was also really nice, she actually brought us up to her room to show us where our room was and everything in the room. And yeah, it was just a really nice touch because we've never had that um, before in a hotel and it saves Stephen and I getting lost in the hotel corridors. And yeah, so we're just indulging in the sweet treats that the hotel got us in our room. And I forgot to show you earlier in the wardrobe, which I'll show you just now. So we've got the iron, iron board. And then we've also got some house coats with some suppers as well. And then we've also got the hair dryer, which comes in handy. So yeah, we're just chilling now before our dinner, but in at half past seven. So that's us ready for dinner now, and I'm looking forward to it as if this is probably the first time I've not actually looked at the menu yet. And yeah, so we'll see you in the restaurant. <laughs>
So we are not long up from a really good night's sleep. We're both out for the count and yeah, the room was really cosy and the last couple of weeks, especially in November, the temperatures really dropped but this room is still really, really warm, even more so that we actually had to open a couple of the windows last night and it was really nice because we heard the river outside so it was really soothing as we were going to sleep. So yeah, we really slept like logs and this morning I'm going to show you the view from our room because it is more brighter and you can see it more clearly and I'm just going to show you from the lovely three bay windows that we've got and unfortunately the Scottish weather is not on our side on this trip but the view is still simply stunning and now we're just going to go down for breakfast and we're looking forward to it so we don't really know what to expect whether it's a buffet or cook to order so we will see you down there we are now in the multi award winning restaurant which was actually recently rated the third most stunning restaurant view in the UK eh, last year by the Daily Mail and it isn't hard to see why the view of the River Dee is simply stunning as you can see. During the week breakfast is served 7 till 10 and we were lucky enough to get a riverside table as it was fairly quiet and I would advise you go down earlier for this table. It was cooked to order with eggs of your choice from the kitchen and we opted for two Scotty breakfasts and poached eggs although there was other choices including egg benedicts, haddock, kippers and so on. Whilst your breakfast has been cooked fresh from the kitchen, you can help yourself to the cold buffet which has an array of cereals, fresh fruit, pastries, yoghurt and fresh orange and apple juice. Although some of the items mentioned in the menu were not actually out on the buffet. A couple of moments later we were then served our two full Scotty breakfasts on piping hot plates along with fresh toast from the kitchen and um, both of them were delicious. The waiter also mentioned that the food was locally sourced and the breakfast really reflected this as it was delicious. So we are just back from breakfast and we are absolutely stuffed. We had like a three course breakfast which is usually standard for Stephen and I when we go to any hotel break and we were served by Richard I think his name was and he was really friendly and told us just a little bit about what we can do this afternoon in the area so yeah overall breakfast was fantastic now we've discovered a couple of things whilst we've been staying at the hotel which I'm just going to tell you about the hotel is pet friendly and we have noticed a couple of dogs in the grounds and what's quite cute is when you walk in and the kind of reception area they've got some dog treats and dog bowls and um, to look after your fluffy friends as well in the local area there's quite a lot you can do as well i think two minutes away there is the bankery golf course if you are a keen golfer and um, obviously next to the hotel we have got the river d and that is really well known for salmon fishing. It's meant to be one of the best rivers in the world for salmon fishing. Also the Balmoro Castle, which is not only about 40 minute drive, which we were hoping to do today, but unfortunately it is closed due to the winter season. Um, but we're just gonna go in and explore the wee town of Bankery. And I would just like to say as well, thank you very much to John, Jade and Lauren for looking after us and organising our stay as well as Richard and Anna in the restaurant who really looked after us and overall the food service, the room, the hotel, it has been amazing. We have only been here for a short period of time. I would recommend if you are from the Central Belt, for example Glasgow, Edinburgh kind of area where I'm from, this is a two night destination. It is quite far to come just for the one night. It took us three hours, like I said in the start of my vlog, but we have really enjoyed it. And it was just the break we needed after the stressful couple of months. So we're just going to explore the wee town of Bankery and I'm going to link the offers below. And the one night offer at 59.50 per person and also a really good flexi dine offer for 89.50 per person and we shall see you in Bangkok.